Oh, hi, Dave. Hello. How nice are to meet you. you doing? All right. Not too bad. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Has Brian arrived yet or not? I, mean, I haven't yeah. seen him. Oh, we're just showing up now. Yeah. <laughs> good hello, to Brian. See you. Nice to meet you. I'm David Barber. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see you, Brian. Yeah. Good <laughs> to see you, Brian. That's good stuff. I think for me, cinemas um, have, have had a different um, impact on me depending on what age I was. My first recollections would be as a child, going to Saturday pictures, as we called it, um, with and those are very, very formative things because they obviously that was the introduction to film. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you used to have a good program there. I mean, you started you did, off yeah. with uh, a cartoon. Yep. Then you'd have the serial, whatever was showing. Flash Gordon, that sort Flash of thing. Flash Gordon was an ace, ace serial. I always <laughs> remember that. Yeah. But the, the thing was, with a bunch of kids being inside a cinema, yeah. was that if you had like a Western, yeah, action, all that sort of thing, um, mm. when they had stopped for any sort of dialogue on, God forbid, romance, yes. um, yeah. the whole place would just erupt because yeah. the kids it, just, it, you just it, shouted yeah. at one another, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. That's what you used to, yeah. yeah. So yeah. When, when, when did you used to go to Saturday Club? What, what sort of years did you... What oh, was uh, 1956 onwards to... Mm -hmm. So I'm not like, don't you think you're so just a few, few years before yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was worried about a similar mm. thing. One of yeah. the things I used to really enjoy about cinemas was uh, we weren't used to go to the Gaumont at um, North End. Oh, that one, yes. We'd yes. often be able to get upstairs. Oh, right, yeah. Well, fun. But, but the real fun of the day was at the end, once the film had finished, that's right, yeah. you just slide down the stairs yeah. and tumble yeah. down the stairs. <laughs> well, you know, it was yeah, great uh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. I went to the um, Gaumont in um, Bradford yeah. Junction. Yes. And uh, I think, it, if I remember rightly, when I, um, we're talking about like 1960, 61, mm. um, I think it was like six months to get in downstairs, was, nine yes, months upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. And one big memory I have of that was that I used to take uh, another six months to go and buy an ice lobby in the middle. Yeah. But, they, it was one of the first times they'd introduced hot dogs into the cinema. Oh. And we used to put the ketchup on. And it was the first time I had ever tasted American mustard. Oh, yeah. And so we're all going, <laughs> stick it, and, and piling this stuff on this hot yeah. dog. And of course, it, everyone was just totally messy. Oh. But um, so that, that was that was um, another very interesting thing that happened, wasn't it? In, yeah. in learning new yeah. things and tasting yeah. new things. Yeah. Yeah. The very first two horror films I saw was at the um, former Majestic Cinema, just before Kingston Crescent in Kingston Road there. And that was uh, The Mummy's Hand, the Christopher Lee, and also the, the first Christopher Lee's film, Dracula. Ah, yeah. Unfortunately, I was underrated film that meant to sneak in since I was 18. I wasn't. You crept in. <laughs> I, I, I did do, yes. I still go to the cinema, of course. Mm. Number the one day review, Gumball Keys, mm. and that's a wonderful the films on there. But I say, well, I do miss the wonderful old atmosphere of the old places, which uh, made it all magical. The design of the building, because it was a, it, for me, it was pure escapism from yes. the real world yeah. for a couple of hours. Yeah, I'm yeah. hoping they might uh, build a cinema in Portsmouth or convert one into an IMAX, which is mm. absolutely amazing. I've seen that uh, yeah. cinema, especially in 3D as well. It's really a wonderful experience because you actually feel it. Cool. The plane's going down the runway. You can actually, mm. yeah. but you sort of feel, don't you? Like it, it's like the, the the charm that the old cinemas had of going in this space of fantasy that you hadn't wouldn't yes. go in. That's you it. have to recreate that, and the way and way you may do it is make it more immersive. Yes, mm. yes. IMAX, of course, is immersive. Yes, yeah, 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 so yeah, have, more yeah. than that. Even. No, I mean, a big screen like, like we have here at number six, um, I mean, it's one of the biggest on the south coast. Mm -hmm. You really get drawn into the film. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter if, it, if it's a big film or um, mm. a big blockbuster or, or, or if it's but, a more intimate general mm. home dra drama or something yes, like yes. that. But seeing it on on the big screen does make a difference. You really do Absolutely. get more affected by it. Yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah. But 
learn. You learn a lot.、Mm. And、uh, the, the other thing about it is that、oh, yes. know, this can be very influential on people. Are, you know, a good film,、mm. um, you know, can change your life in actual fact. Oh yes. yes. Get caught up in what you're watching. That's right. Yes. But basically, I, I, it's, re- it's really, I mean, it's, it's, it's guys like you that are going to dictate what's going on. They dictate, that's not yeah, right. Yeah, 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 going to、yeah. influence what happens. Yeah.、Yes. And, and the way you do these, the you know, way you capture situations、yes. and the way you portray them yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 you know, go left field with it and let's see, see where, where it all goes. But it, it's, it's, it's really down to these guys more than, you know,、mm, we're old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes.